Hello guys, I am back. I finally figured out how I can stream Star Stable. I had to actually download a, uh, uh, an app, I guess, for my computer to be able to show it on the one monitor without it clicking off. Anyways, I got it figured out. So uh, without further ado, let's go check out Star Stable. Okay, so I just want to double check something here. Yeah, so that's good. Okay, so this is the game. Now, I've played World of Warcraft before, so I understand that you need to use the A to move um, left, D to move right, W to move forward, and S to move back. So I'm gonna jump off the horse here. So it says press shift to switch between walking and running. So if I walk, let's turn. Okay, so if I hit shift, I can walk or run. So this is a lot like World of Warcraft. This is so exciting. I'm like super excited about this. So welcome to the Moorland Stables. I'm Justin and I run this stable together with my dad. Now I wasn't able to put the chat so I'm actually going to bring my phone up so that I can actually read the, the chat on the video. Um, let me just go to my channel. Sorry, this is disorganized confusion here right now. Okay, so I've got the chat up. So if somebody is chatting, I will be able to see. Um, okay, so anyways, I take care of the horses here and make sure each horse is matched with a suitable rider. Are you ready to meet your horse? So, do you accept this quest? A new friend. Move close to your horse and click on the saddle to mount. And then I take it that this is what I get rewarded with. Let me introduce you to your new friend, Ruby Butterfly. I put on, I put on the track and saddle for you already. So all you have to do is climb in to the saddle. I'm sure you and Ruby Butterfly will be best of friends in no time. A baby Yule goat approaches you. She nudges you softly as if wanting to get your attention. I'm not even going to read these out, guys, because all my, my uh, voice will get really sore here. So this quest holds worth little helpers. So help the baby Yule get home. So yes. So this is my horse. Oh, okay, pick hooves, pat horse, so let's pat horse. This is so cool. <laughs> I really like this game. Okay, so now she's in love with me. Now, how do I help? So I'm assuming if I click on the map, sorry, I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's 
gonna take me a while. Sorry. I think it's better off the horse. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, this is crazy. Okay, so I got another quest here. If you feel comfortable, I think you two make a great team. Caring for your ho horse. Use the hay bucket, hoof pick, and brush on your horse. Talk to Justin again after that. Okay, so I need to go to the horse. This is the horse menu. Okay, so next. Feed horse. If you run out of food for your horse, you can buy more at the horse store. If you run out of water, you can refill your bucket by dragging it from the backpack and dropping it on the well. Okay and brush. You have completed the daily care. Your horse got a little happier. So every day you should complete this horse care routine to keep your horse happy. A happier horse moves faster. Check your horse mood at any time. Open the horse sheet by clicking here. Okay, here you can see your horse's mood and which care activities you have completed. Every day you, you miss horse care, your horse's mood will drop by one step. Okay, so that's mount, pat horse, okay. So I did those, so I just go back to this guy, I guess. Well done, Shakira. Now your horse feels better and is happier. If you do this every day, your horse will soon be so happy that he will run faster. But if you don't take care of Ruby Butterfly, he'll soon become sad and run slower. Surely a responsible rider like you would never let that happen, especially not here at Moreland. Here at Moreland, we always need help taking care of our horses and now I know that I can trust you. Look at the notice board by the stable and see if there are any stable jobs that need to be done. We update it every day so remember to look at it every day. Oh, and if there isn't any water in the bucket you can fill it up from the well outside the stable or in the trough of your home stable you can buy more hay in some of the shops. Okay, so that stuff just got put in my inventory. So it looks like down here, so this is for the main menu and this is where you, that's where you would click if you wanted to quit. Um, let's see, they got settings, sound, graphics, Become a wild horse. Ooh, hide my hat. Um, hide bridal stars, mute chat, mute group invites, mute friend invites. Okay. Show other wild horses. 
Um, this is collections. So I'm... Okay. And quest log. Uh, greener pastures. So these are side quests. So if you click on them, does it show you on the map? Um, that's my character sheet. I'm gonna have to definitely, uh, oh, okay. Okay, cool. So when you earn your dollars and stuff, you can come to the store and buy different outfits for your girl. I was gonna say your lady, cause I play lady popular. <laughs> And you can have pets too. Look at this. Oh, cool. Okay. So. Put a stable girl I can direct you to your writing lesson. She's out just outside this gate by the stables. I'll open it for you. Okay, so. Oh wow, look at all the quests here. Now, I know I have a quest to find that I'm supposed to help the goat. Um, I wonder if I check my quest log. So ongoing, time to ride. Okay, and this one here. So she nudges you. There's a tag hanging on the ribbon tied around her neck. It reads, come with me to Mrs. Holdsworth at Moreland Stables. Oh. Didn't I finish this one? Oh, Mrs. Holdsworth. So I gotta find Mrs. Holdsworth. Is that her? No. I need to find Mrs. Holdsworth. Is the goat? Yeah, the goat's following me. Uh, I'm walking into a wall. <laughs> okay, so I really hope the horse speeds up because this is really slow.
added to your journal. It's, it's, uh, it's a little hard to maneuver her. Talk to Jenna. Take it, that's Jenna. There we go, now I'm running. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely gonna be a learning curve. That's all right. He must be one of the new robbers. Um. One lap around the square track and come back to me. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a learning curve. Yay! Whoa, and I just passed her again. Okay. <laughs> I think my problem is stopping. I'm not sure how you... Oh, that's a jump, okay. That was space bar. I wonder if it'd just be easier to... Okay, so don't show. Well, now I've figured out. Jumping with your horse is all about timing. First, you need to make sure that your horse has enough speed. You want to at least ride in canter gait. Then you command your horse to jump. With a good timing, you should fly forward over any obstacle in your path. I have placed a jumping obstacle in the middle of the square track. Try jumping over it. Okay. That's great, but where did my horsey go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, so... Oops. Oh, I'm caught on the table. To make your horse jump, press the space key or zero key on the keyboard.
I don't know how you stop. Looks like you have to push S twice. You need a bigger challenge than the square track. The stables gates are now open and outside, just past the shops, there is a paddock. Ride over there and talk to Loretta. She is a member of the Bobcats Riding Club and a great rider. She can be very, uh, she can be a bit grumpy with beginners, but never mind that. Ask her if she can show you the competition's work here in Moreland. So, if you click on the map, areas discovered. Is there a way you can zoom the map? So, quests, reputation blocker. Okay, so you can check these if you want to be able to view them on the map. And it shows that I'm right here. Moreland. Okay. Oh, to gallop, press W or up arrow to ride faster. 